Now we're going to take a look at understanding how databases work. In particular, we're going to look at relational databases. There's a bunch of different database models out there. The most popular one is the relational database model. So we're going to look at how relational databases work. And, uh, and then we're actually going to learn how to build a database. And, uh, you know, so this is the starting point right here. It's a puzzle. A puzzle is the starting point for understanding databases. And uh, when you're looking at this, you are looking at three different tables inside a database. So we group data in databases, and we group data in similar categories by tables. And so, you know, I would have a customer's table where I group all the data uh, that's, you know, related to customers in that table. And I'd have a movies table if this is a movie rental store, I would, like Netflix or something, or, you know, video rental store if they still exist anywhere. I would group all the information about my movies into one table, right? Because, you know, that's a separate little group of information that's different from the group of information about my customers. And then I group all the information about my rental transactions into a table. And, uh, you know, that, that, that all that information about rental transactions, you know, while I will have a little information from the customer and a little information from the movies is different from the group of information about the customers and the group of information about the, the movies. You know, it's really about which customer rented which movie. And so we got three tables here, and uh, this is the relational database model. And, uh, you know, this is the starting point for understanding databases. And the first thing to understand is that we group like information into tables. So all my customer's data is going to be in the customer's table. All my movie data is going to be in the movie table. And then, you know, all the information about rental transactions will be in the rental table. So this little diagram is actually a diagram of three tables in a relational database. It would be the bare bones, you know, uh, database for a video rental store. And uh, the question I have for you to ponder to help you start down the road of understanding relational databases is who, who, who was the last person to rent the movie, the last person to rent the movie, First Blood. So look at this database diagram with these three tables and see if you could figure out who is the last person to rent the movie First Blood. And uh, this would be the first rental transaction here, and this would be the last rental, the later rental transactions down here. So see if you can figure out who is the last person to rent First Blood. Pause the, pause the video, and then when you think you have an answer, start it up. Okay, so if you didn't get the answer, that's totally okay, because like half or more of people who look at this don't get it the first time. It's really a pretty foreign concept for a lot of people how these relational databases work where we have tables and where these tables are related, right? Relational databases, tables related to each other, relating to each other. What does that mean they're related to each other or relating to each other? Well, the, the table with all the customer information, it wants to relate to the table with all the movies information because customers want to rent movies, right? And so there's a relationship between customers and movies. They, customers want to rent movies and movies want to be rented by customers or at least movies get rented by customers. That's a better way to say it. All right, so who is the last person to rent First Blood? Well, what we do is we, uh, we, we notice that, check it out, right here we have something called Movie ID, and uh, boom, Movie ID. And then we also have Movie ID right there, right? So there's a, a common sort of field in each of these tables. And if we're looking to see who's the last person to rent First Blood, well, First Blood has Movie ID 3. And if we come down here to see what's the last movie, last rental transaction with a movie ID of three, we see it's the very last one. And then that was rented by somebody with the customer ID, right? That was rented by somebody with a customer ID of three. This is customer ID. And we notice there's a customer ID right here. And the customer ID who had three is Jose, right? So this is really how relational databases work. The tables are relating to each other and uh, the customers rent movies. And so Jose, customer ID three, customer ID three, and rental transaction ID number 10, rented movie ID three, and movie ID three is first blood. So that's how relational databases work. And that's the first step to understanding, uh, you know, uh, starting our way down the road of understanding how databases work, and also building a database. That's how relational databases work.